Hey everyone, this is Yami, your Latina Next Door. Welcome back to my channel. I recently shared my kitchen transformation and I created this cute little area for my pictures. That way I can keep my fridge clutter free. These turned out so cute and are so easy to make and I'm gonna show you how in this video, so stay tuned. Now at my local Dollar Tree, I found these really cute frames with these different patterns, the jute string, as well as two little clothespins. They are absolutely adorable. However, I am not a fan of the actual print, so I decided to include something a little bit more rustic and all I did was take it apart. I removed the string and then I peeled off the back patterned paper. Now, the paper didn't come off very cleanly, so I just used a sanding block and smoothed everything out. Then I used a cutting mat as well as a box cutter in order to cut my new scrapbook paper that I wanted to put on the frame instead. Then I took Mod Podge in a matte finish and I covered the entire backing of the frame. I made sure to give it a good coat and get all of the corners and edges. I placed my scrapbook paper on top and with a roller rolled out all of the air bubbles and any creases that might have formed when placing the paper down. Then I immediately added another layer of Mod Podge on top of the paper and then I let it sit to dry. Then after it was dry, I added the little twine with the clothespins on it. I added the frame back on and then that was pretty much it. It was ready to be hung and it was ready for photos right away. And while I'm using it for photographs in my kitchen, you can always use it for appointment cards, notes to your family, even grocery lists. So keep that in mind as well. And if you want even more flexibility, you don't even have to Mod Podge scrapbook paper on it. And what you do is get double-sided tape and change the scrapbooks for the season or at different occasions. You can use them for the holidays, the winter time, you can make it more feminine by adding blush colors, keep it simple with polka dots, use patriotic patterns or even solid ones, and just change the look of those frames throughout the year. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you love this simple DIY. Also, subscribe if you want to consider becoming part of this familia. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, adios.